Harold Parker has been farming for decades. He says no one could predict the negative impact of this escalating trade war with China. Well, everybody's a little jittery. You know, you, you hope you set your goals, and when you have to back down from your goals where you want to go, it's always tough. Parker says he remembers the last time this happened and hopes history doesn't repeat itself. In the 80s, it really affected me. I was a young farmer then. I survived it, but it was cruel to me at times with the large, we had an interest rate go way up and that, all that scares us. Christopher Hur, an agricultural economist at Purdue University, says $15 billion of the $34 billion in retaliatory tariffs from China is aimed directly at farm products. The biggest impact on soybeans. We're looking at that impact here in Indiana. We think that will reduce prices. Uh, and revenues for Indiana soybeans about $150 million just for soybeans that we will not be able to sell to China. Hurt says economists estimated on June 1st a farmer with 1,000 acres of corn and the same amount of soybeans expected a modest return of about $42,000. Today, that return has dropped to minus $126,000. For most of us to get a paycheck, uh, we can begin to imagine trying to live on the paycheck we had 15 years ago with today's cost. That's what's facing the Indiana farmers today. Parker says he's still hoping for the best. I don't think anybody propelled for this kind of income drop. We're talking, you know, we live in a, you could graph it, you know, and 15, 20 percent change in year, but 50 percent to 60 percent, that's, that's not what anybody put in their books.